In this video, you're going to discover what you need to have step by step for website redesign. Let's go. Hi, my name is Antoine Dupont with Catapult. So we have a lot to cover with website redesign. So let's just dive right in. So you've picked a theme design or you have an idea of what you like and you're not quite sure how to go about laying this all out. So let me give you the tip that all website designers know. You need to understand the psychology of people landing on your website. And they have two questions, two questions in their mind. The first question is, is this for me? And that question takes about three to five seconds to be answered. So they're going to land on your website and they're going to make a de decision immediately. This is for me or this is not. They're not going to be diving in. They're not going to be scrolling. They're not going to be clicking on any navigation. Immediately, they're going to make a decision. This is for me or this is not for me. If this is for me, then they're going to stay on your website. If this is not for me, they're going to leave. The issue is that most people don't understand or respect that premise and the homepage of their website is not designed to answer that question. Let me explain. Let's look at this website, for example. This is a theme design and it's actually a handyman. So within three to five seconds, what is that website telling you? That website is telling you that this guy is a handyman and apparently he does construction, electricity, he does all kinds of things. So within five seconds, I know that this guy is for me if I'm looking for a handyman. Now, if I'm looking for an electrician, I may not get that message. You know, I'm looking at construction, I'm looking at a hammer, I'm looking at a drill. That may answer or that may tell me this is not for me. So I may bounce out or I may click back and then click on the next uh, on the next website that is posted. Let me show you the next one. The next one is a construction website. So it's a theme, Lambda Construction. So what I'm landing here is, I, it's telling me that this is heavy construction. I can see a picture of a guy doing framing for a roof. I can see like a blueprint and whatnot. So this tells me that this is a large construction company. So if this is who you are and you were trying to convey that, then you're, it's, it's working out. But if you're a construction company doing like small, smaller types of jobs and everything, you may be uh, saying something different. And the last one is consultant. Now, this is a consultant. So for example, I see this mistake done with a lot of business coaches, for example. Um, it, typical business coaches will do a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. This image does not convey one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's very professional. It's a bunch of people in a uh, in a in a large boardroom uh, with this guy. That looks very professional with a with a with a uh, a flip chart and talking to uh, to people. But this does not convey one on one. So, for example, if you are a business coach and uh, the vast majority of your business is one on one, actually for small businesses, someone, a small business owner landing on this website may get the wrong idea and say and decide immediately, this is not for me. So this was the first question. You need to answer that, this is for me. By the way, this question is 100% visual, right? This decision within a three to four, five seconds is going to be visual. I land on the website, I see something, and it's telling me this is for me or this is not for me. The second thing is going to be the, the text that you have, but it's, very, it's, it's not as important as the image. So the image is number one. So the second thing is, can I trust you? So once I've answered this is for me, then the second question I have is, can I trust you? Like, are you trustworthy? So what am I looking for in order to decide that this website is trustworthy? Trustworthy, sorry. So the first thing is, well, does this look professional? Is this a reputable company? I mean, is your website, if I'm scrolling here and I'm looking at this website, this is professionally built, it looks professional. So that tells me, yeah, this is 
something I could trust, but I'm going to be looking for things that are very specific. One of them being testimonial. So people are going to be looking for testimonial. Who is saying nice things about that? Uh, what is really important here is what you can say. It, it actually has a name, a first name, a last name, whatever they said, and an image that actually adds to its trustworthiness because it's very easy for anyone to actually say uh, this is the best company ever and you know just put a fake name like you know I think that I'm not going to say that you're doing this but I have seen it on some websites and I'm like yeah that's a questionable testimonial so if you have a testimonial uh, what I think would be better with this testimonial if it actually said the first name the last name and the company that they're with right or if it's not a company if it's a a, a person like a uh, individual person you could actually put the city that they're from so it acts it, it adds to the trustworthiness like this is you know john doe in fort Lauderdale, or this is john doe which is a business owner of this company in miami for example that would you know that would help you out okay so before you think about anything else with your theme design or your design or whatever you're going to do is remember that you need to answer those two questions is is this for me and can i trust you so once you have that here are the things that you need to have handy with you in order to be ready and move quickly with your website the first one is obviously a logo right you need to have your logo in a high definition resolution to make sure that you know the webmaster can actually use it um, I have found that people don't always have the source file of the logo and you know it becomes a problem and whatnot so just make sure you have a proper logo the second thing is having your content ready now I'm gonna tell you that you know I've been doing this for over 15 years and this is always the area that people get stuck in the mud with the content I'm going to tell you that the vast majority of people don't know how to do content, how to do content properly, that is an area you should outsource. Unless you're a professional content writer for the web, then I would say highly recommend that you outsource that instead of trying to do it yourself because it's not going to serve you. Okay. Uh, three is a site map. Obviously, if you're looking at this website here, a site map is, you know, home, who we are, services, news, contact us. And if there was some drop down underneath, you know, you need to have that. So that's what a site map is. It's like, you know, it's the structure of your website. Uh, the fourth one is your current traffic statistics. Hopefully you have Google Analytics installed on your website so we can actually look at what are people looking at the most and we kind of like learning from the past, you know, seeing what the stats are telling us, the types of people going on your website, are they more men or they're more women, what state, uh, what age group, I mean all these information are actually really important to make a decision with your website and obviously last but not least is your domain name right so do you have control over your domain name was it reg registered with GoDaddy or network solutions and some other do you have the login ID and password this is a lot of area like people say well you know what I paid for that like five years ago and I don't remember where it is find that that's super important and on that note if you have the two questions which is can I trust you and is this for me and you have those five things ready then you're ready to talk to a webmaster thank you so if you like this video and you got value out of it, please like it, like do it right now. You know, that's how we know we're doing a good job. And if you have a comment or a question or anything, please write it below, just type it below and I will answer it as quickly as possible. Have a great day.